A popular Portland food cart is now serving up its yummy food in rural Washington County, and they're all grown up in a building of their own. That's right, Fox's Io Elise is here to take us inside Smokehouse Chicken and Guns. Hi, Io. Good morning. Yeah, the restaurant menu offers a menu filled with Latin-inspired chicken, craft cocktails, and much more in Gale's Creep. We stop by for a taste of what they're serving up. The Chicken and Guns story starts in Baja, California. I was simply on the side of a road, um, a checkpoint outside of La Paz. A um, gentleman was a military officer holding an M16. He handed me a piece of chicken, chicken and guns. And a crispy, twice-fried potato would serve as a side. You know, you have tater tots, you have squiggly fries, you have frites. To me, I was like, well, I'm not beneath creating a category of potato. We're making guns. Now the popular Southeast Portland food truck, Chicken and Guns, has a second location in Gales Creek called Smokehouse Chicken and Guns. It's kind of a murdered out Denny's and a, the barn that's puked itself inside out. Yeah. <laughs> so what does that mean? Well, inside you'll find a psychedelic country vibe with plates of Latin inspired flame grilled chicken and smoked wings along with savory sauces. Dustin Knox is one of three owners of the restaurant and he says that's not all you'll find on the menu. You start the day with a really easy breakfast style foods, breakfast sandwiches, breakfast burritos. Uh, that's more in depth come the week ends when we do like a full, like special fun brunch. Thursday right now, we're doing prime rib dinner, which is explosive. Uh, like, we fill this place up for prime rib night. There's even a slew of craft cocktails, beer and wine to wash it all down. Having spent much of his childhood in the woods of California and Idaho, Knox says he's happy to serve great food between the city and the forest. Personally, I was looking for an opportunity kind of out of the city. I think all looking for a reprieve. We're all looking for something that's more beautiful. The owners say they're excited to expand to their new restaurant, taking over an old diner that closed down due to the pandemic. You got a lady cry once. We're just like, I've never had food this good. It's, it's a, it's, it feels amazing to know that you take an old space which brought a small community a lot of love. You could focus on that community and still capture the people driving through you treat them with equal amount of care, that feels amazing. Salud. Now, Smokehouse Chicken and Guns is located, located off of Highway 6, again, in Gills Creek. They're open Thursday through Sunday, and if you stop by, those wings are a must. We'll have a link at kptv.com for more. Back to you. I have to tell you, there, I'm, I'm there often. I, I did not like wings until I tasted theirs, and now wow. it's all I get now when I go there. It's, oh they're amazing, it and I know you're a big delicious. chicken wing fan. All of their stuff is so good, and yeah. the vibe is really cool. Oh, yeah, it's so fun. I mean, and when we were there, there were so many people just walking in, saying hi to each other, saying hi to Dustin, Aww. and it was a great vibe when you walked I in. I like how he describes it as a barn that's puked itself inside <laughs> yes. out. Wait, wait till you get inside, and the music, and they sometimes oh. have live music there, so fun. it's a really neat place. Thanks, I, I'm oh. so, those, I yummy. So, I'm, I'm really, you heard my stomach growling earlier. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm really hungry. I did. Thank okay. you, Aya. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get to Andy Carson.